Guys, we just hit 25,000 subscribers, so great time to do an unboxing of the Sony Xperia X A1 Ultra. And of course, this is a follow-up to last year's Sony Xperia X A Ultra. Let's get right to it. So, pretty typical Sony Xperia box. As you guys see Xperia there on the front. Xperia X A1 Ultra at the bottom. And this is the dual SIM variant. And then also yeah on the sides just white on the sides and then look at the back so you see some specs there we'll be covering those in video all right right on top the xa1 ultra and available in several colors but as you guys see i did get the gold version so i'm going to put that aside for a second and really awesome screen to body ratio there at least on the sides, it looks pretty amazing. And that's actually a bit of an advantage of the Sony Xperia uh, XE Premium, if you guys look at the sides. So we'll be, uh, we'll be doing a comparison that way in video, as well as the XA Ultra. All right, so let's see what we got. Startup guide. And it's more manuals. Wall adapter. And of course, that will differ depending on the region. Very nice. We do have some headphones. And let's take a look at them real quick. Yeah, I always do like Sony headphones. They look really cool and have pretty good sound. Though, of course, they are just introduction headphones, so don't go expecting too much with these. But still pretty cool looking. Alright, and we should have a USB Type-C cable in here. I think... Yeah, so last year, Sony Xperia XA Ultra, that had micro USB, but this year, Sony going with USB Type-C. Yep, here is USB Type-C cable. And we do have an adapter here. So for me, I'm in America, so got this adapter right here. All right, and I think that does it. Yeah, so very typical Sony box. But they do give you a lot of good stuff. And just look at the sides there. Alright guys, so what all you've been waiting for the Sony Xperia X01 Ultra. And looks like, once again, amazing screen to body ratio here. So yeah guys, this is a mid-range phone. Um, however, since this is a 6 inch screen, I think it makes it a pretty unique phone. And if it's anything like the XA Ultra, it should be pretty fast as well. All right, let's go ahead and take this off at the back. All right, guys, so really nice design on this. Let's go ahead and power it on. All right, so quick look at design the phone first. So you have a front-facing camera here of 16 megapixels, so really, really good camera, uh, especially for mid-range phone. And it's going to go ahead and take off the sticker here. Oh, actually, looks like we got a whole sheet of plastic on it. And this should come off as well. All right, so at the bottom, you do have USB Type-C. And power button on the side, so unfortunately, you do not have a fingerprint scanner on this. But you do have a headphone jack. And look at the other side. So this should be for micro SD card and SIM card. So you don't want to open that right now. We're just going to restart it. And yeah, I'm going to log in a minute, but let's finish the tour first. Um, rear facing, great camera as well. 23 megapixels. Now, aside from that, uh, so again, this is a mid-range phone. So you are getting a MediaTek Helio P20 processor. Uh, although you do have 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is really impressive for a mid-ranger. And so either 32, 64 gigabytes internal storage, micro SD card support. I do have the 64 gigabyte version. Um, 2700 capacity battery and mostly does it. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my information. 
Uh, and then I'll be back in a second. We'll do some comparisons versus the XA Ultra and the Sony Xperia XE Premium. All right, guys, just been playing for around 20 minutes so far. Um, so we're going to be doing a quick look at the interface and then a brief comparison versus the XA, uh, versus XA Ultra and the Sony Xperia XE Premium. So very typical Sony interface. And actually, let me just bring this a bit closer. But yeah, you guys see all your basic Sony apps, including PlayStation. And I've not brought the cam yet. I'll uh, uh, go ahead and open it up. Again, we got a 23 megapixel rear facing camera. You got your manual mode right here. All right, and app drawer. So yeah, all your pre-installed apps. Not too much. Um, now something I really like about Sony phones is they have pretty minimal bloatware. Um, the interface in general, very, very fast. So we'll be doing a lot of comparisons here. And it looks like we got a system update running there. All right, guys. So really brief look versus the XA Ultra. Again, this phone is one year old. Um, so both these phones, six inch screen, full HD. Actually, I'm going to switch them. So I actually think I like the design a bit more of the original XA Ultra. Um, if you guys look at the XA1, a bit more square on the tops and the bottom. And I actually think the XA1 uh, might be a tiny bit taller. Eh, not really. I mean, no, they're about the same actually, so scratch that. Um, yeah, I guess if you look at them like this. Yeah, I mean, I guess they look essentially the same. It's just the XA1. You got rounder edges. And great front-facing cameras on both. So very, very similar. And you are upgrading from micro USB to USB Type-C. And look at the back. So you do got some polycarbonate material on these. And yeah, so the XA1, it definitely feels more premium than the XA. Just feeling the back feels, definitely feels sturdier. Yeah, a bit more premium material here on XA1 Ultra. And then let's do a quick look for what a lot of people consider to be the best phone in the world, the Sony Xperia XE Premium. Now guys, obviously the XE Premium is better than the XA, uh, than the XA1 Ultra. However, I still want to do a brief comparison. So the XA1 Ultra does at least have one advantage, which I alluded to earlier. Um, does have smaller bezels on the sides. And in my opinion, it looks a bit better just from the front in general. Now the Sony Xperia XE Premium, this has a 5.5 inch screen and it is 4K. And you do got fingerprint skin here on the side, which again, you don't have on the XA1 Ultra. Both these phones use be Type-C. And both headphone jacks. And then look at the back. So just gonna wipe this down on the uh, Sony Xperia XE Premium. So you do got glass back on. Uh, you do have a mirror-like finish on the back here. All right, guys. So I will be doing video comparisons of these two phones, the XA Ultra, and a whole lot more. I know a lot of you guys will probably want to see comparison versus Samsung Galaxy Stay Plus. All right, guys, first impressions of the phone. Um, yeah, so, so far I am pretty impressed with the phone. However, it is obviously very similar to the XA Ultra. Um, so the XA Ultra I thought was a great, great phone, especially for mid-ranger. However, it's not going to be anything revolutionary. You know, you guys can't be expecting Sony Xperia XE Premium with this phone. But that's why I paying a whole lot less for the XA1 Ultra. Um, so again, do have a lot of comparisons planned. Going to be doing some videos with that front and rear facing camera. Uh, I think the front camera that actually may be better than on the XE Premium, but stay tuned for that. All right, everyone. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. Do have a lot more videos planned in the future.
Again, we just hit 25,000 subscribers, so really awesome growing the channel. So if you guys want to be part of that, you can subscribe in the top left corner. Or you can watch another video right now by clicking in the bottom right. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.